Hey there everyone, my name is Ted Pick and I'm going to tell you the story of Meat Love Salt as written down in Grandfather Tales by Richard Chase as it was told to him by Betty Lou Ramsey in 1945, Virginia. I hope you enjoy. Now, a long time ago there was an old king and that old king he had himself three daughters. Now, he knew those daughters, they liked to go out a partying and a dancing, so he decided to surprise them one day and he went to the store and he bought them three lovely dresses. But on the way back with his dresses, a maple bough knocked his hat right off and into the mud. Well, he got all mad and he reached up and he grabbed that branch and he ripped it down just to see it had some lovely white roses on it. Well, he decided, you know what? Those roses would go well with the dresses. He got his muddy hat, cleaned it off, put it on, rode home, and he called his eldest daughter into the room and he said, daughter, how much do you love your daddy? And she said, daddy, I love you more than life itself. And he said, good, good. And he pulled out a dark, flashy green dress that he gave to her with one of the white roses. And she got all excited and ran off to get ready for a party. He then called his next eldest in and said, how much do you love your daddy? And she said, daddy, I love you so much I can't put it into words. And he said, good, good. And he gave her a flashing red dress with a white rose. And she ran off to get ready for the party. He then called his youngest in. He secretly loved the most and he said daughter how much you love your old man and she thought for a bit and she thought for a bit and finally she said daddy i love you like meat loves salt what well i love you as much as duty allows it's the dying truth well, the old king, he did not like this. He did not like this at all. So he had her banished to a tall tower in the middle of the prairies with only an old spinster woman to give her food and cook. Well, she spent most of her time up in that tower and crying and brushing her hair and thinking about everything she could be doing at those parties. And the old king, he hid the white dress with the white roses and forgot about his youngest daughter. Well, one day... Who should be happening along by that tower riding on his horse but the Duke of England? Now the Duke of England, he saw her up in that window crying and he clumb up a really strong grapevine on the side of that tower and said, Why are you crying? And she said, My daddy don't love me no more. And he said, Well, girl, I'll love you. And he picked her up, carried her across the ocean, and they got married. Now, in that time, the oldest daughters also got married and the old king, he got a bit lonesome sitting in his castle with all his servants. And he decided he was going to go live with his eldest daughter. And he showed up at her house and said, I'm going to live with you now. And his eldest daughter said, Daddy, you can stay with me, but all oh, your siblings said, I have to go. We don't have room for them. You can keep two. He said, okay. And they got, they got the runoff and dismissed. And Daddy, he lived with her for, well, about a week before she kicked him out with his two servants saying they drove her mad. He said, fine, I'll go live with your sister then. And he got to her house and she said, Daddy, you can live with me, but your two servants, we don't got space for them. And... I only have space for you in the stables. Well, he said, okay, that'll do, I guess, as long as I'm by you. And he moved into the stables, and after about a week, she said, Daddy, I just, I can't take it anymore. You can't live with us anymore. And she kicked him out, and he realized his two other daughters didn't love him at all, and it made him mad, and he run off into the countryside. Well, the two oldest daughters, their husbands, they started to bickering and decided they were going to fight for the old king's land, and they pitched a war with the Duke of England. Well, the Duke of England, he had to put them to rights, and so he came across the ocean with his armies and the youngest daughter, and they started fighting, and while his armies were out fighting, he and the youngest daughter started walking around the countryside having a nice picnic-like, and they saw the old mad king wearing a crown of honeysuckles, and the daughter, she told him, take my dad in, take care of him, and they brought the dad in, they cleaned him up, they gave him food, and the youngest daughter, she told the cooks, don't give my dad food with salt. No salt. And the cook said, okay. So they brought the food out to the king, and the king said, what's wrong with this food? It has a weird taste. There's something not right. And the youngest daughter, she came out holding a bowl of salt without saying a word, and the youngest daughter was recognized by her mad old dad, and he started crying, for he realized she really loved him, and she sent off one of the servants for him after he told her to, and the servant came back with a box, and in that box was that white dress with three perfect roses unaged. And matter of fact, they ended up finding the oldest daughters that didn't love them at all, thrown in a briar thicket by their husbands when they lost the war. And that is the story of Meat Love Salt. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I had to rush it a bit, 
to tell that story in less than five minutes is shockingly hard. But I had fun. Hopefully you had fun. And welcome to a slightly weird version of King Lear, as told orally by the people of the Appalachian Mountains. Bye!